So, what brings you in? Fill us in. All right, I've been uh, having a lot of issues in my shoulders. Um, mm -hmm. uh, I was doing a chest fly. Mm -hmm. um, when I was doing a chest fly, pretty much the weight uh, was too heavy for me. My shoulders snapped black back. And I've been uh, having a lot of uh, shoulder pain since then. Mm -hmm. Now, any type of range of motion that I have, I feel like clicking, popping, and my range of motion is no longer there. I can barely get my arms over my head directly. Mm -hmm. um, I'm also having really bad hip pain. Mm -hmm. uh, when I'm deadlifting, I can definitely tell my hips are out of whack. Uh, I feel as though like my right side is like higher, I guess you could say, than my left. And uh, it, it bothers me when I sit down, it bothers me when I walk. Uh, pretty much anything that I do, I can feel that that hip pain is, is, is there. Um, and then my feet, my feet, um, when I was in the military, uh, I was in the army for uh, six years. As an infantryman, I, I went to go do a, a mission. And when I was doing a mission, I was running, I jumped over something and I fell. And all the combat load that I had on, around 100 pounds, fell directly onto my foot. And since then, I've been having like this constant pain right in the middle of my um, uh, arch, and it's been like making my big toe like click, and especially when it gets cold now, mm -hmm. I can feel like that toe is starting to jam up. I see. Okay. Oh, you also mentioned something about your neck. Oh yes, yeah. yes, yes. My neck. My neck. Um, when I was um doing um squats, my my neck has gotten uh, uh my neck started bothering me. It gave me like crazy headaches. Um, um, uh, and and. I, I began getting dizzy. Um, when I would walk, I would feel like jumbly at the words. I would feel a little dizzy. Um, the, then the, the dizziness pretty much stayed constant. It never really went away. All right, so let's go. Let's take a look. All right. All right. Here it is. Thing what we're going to do is stand up our patient and what we already see right off the bat is there's a lot of swelling right over here okay a considerable amount okay, there's no body fat but this is just all fluid right over here okay, it's all protecting this particular area right over here and the same thing can be said right at the spot right here tender right there a bit yes yeah okay so we're going to take a closer look at this fella see what's going on there's some muscle tightness on the left side. Yeah. Okay, now we're going to start off with motion palpation and we're going to check and see what's normal, what's abnormal. Okay. So right now his hips. He's back and forth without a problem on the left side. Right side without a problem. Sacrum. You feel you find something going on, on the left side. Doesn't doesn't go completely go to the left. On the left side over here. See how stiff this is over here? Right. And then it starts to soften up here. Okay, so keep on going up. And it gets stiff again, right there. See that? Mm -hmm. So basically, what's going on is because you kept, you kept that carrying all uh, you know all the heavy weight on the right shoulder over here, including all the uh, you know the belt fed ammo over here, the what we call it, the missile launcher and what have you, 100 pounds worth of stuff right on this here. As you can see over here, there's a, there's quite a bit of a curve here. Okay, so let's try to compensate for all that extra weight on the right side over here. And since this is the one you knocked out in high school, the sixth dorsal over here, that's what made this stress even more much more worse than it really should. That's why the neck compensated by going the opposite direction over here. So that's why you, <clears throat> that's why you experience that all that neck discomfort, the vertigo, and the headaches, all that stuff. What we really need to correct it is right there, the sixth dorsal. Okay, coming up. Special magic, just for you, brother. <laughs> Actually, I'm sorry. I love you. Okay. 
Mas a festa não é grande. Sou flamengo. Hoje eu sou de João. Sim, olha lá. Muito mais fácil. Death. Muito mais fácil. Eu acho que é muito melhor. Por favor, Jesus. It does have to be a close ball from a very precise, uh, specific correction. And I would never thought it was from right there. Come on. Oof. Jesus <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. Drop it, give me 50. <laughs> <laughs> I can do it. <laughs> Man, that's what I'm talking about. That feels amazing. Man. Thank you. Oh, you're very welcome, Thank brother. You. In this foot x-ray structural analysis, the patient's foot is on the left side. And I put another film for comparative analysis. So, normal, I want to see it relatively all line up in a straight line. In his case, as we see over here, it doesn't. So as the patient described before, because he jumped over a log and he landed on a log that was hidden and it wasn't seen, what it did was he experienced trauma and it forced his navicular bone superiorwards, meaning it went completely upwards and all the structures went along for the ride. So therefore, this navicular is the one we need to correct on him. I, I can only imagine what's gonna happen now. Well, I'm not your, your fairy godfather here. I'm going to sprinkle <laughs> some magic dust here. <laughs> Good thing I took the x-rays because holy cow, it, is, it feels very different compared to x-rays. Yeah. This is going to be fun to fix. I can't wait. Okay, so your navicular really is misaligned. That's the one you landed on hard. Now the way it misaligned, it's not common. So I'm gonna do something very special for it. I'm not, let's see if we can set this. Alright. Let's bring on the magic. Mm. been stretched out. This was amazing. Oh wow. I haven't been able to do that with no pain in a while. That was great. My man, I'm so happy I found you on Google. <laughs> For real. For real, everybody else I've been to, nobody would ever address that. And then one, two, three, you got that fixed for me. Uh, I appreciate it. I really appreciate that. You got it. I'm honored. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. You got a client for life. <laughs> All right. 